communication accommodation theory is a theory in which when people interact, they adjust their speech of words, vocal patterns, and their gestures to accommodate to others. So this would be when you communicate with others, you express yourself with the different use of words, of choice, or accents to feel acceptance in different types of social groups or even just with different types of people. The original theorist of this amazing work is made from a man called Howard Giles, a social psychologist that studied this back in 1973. He is the professor of communications at the Department of Communications in the University of California, Santa Barbara. There are two different elements that make up the communication accommodation theory. First element is convergence and the second is divergence. Convergence is when you make your speech similar to who you are talking to. Divergence, on the other hand, is the opposite of convergence and is when you do not want to practice or match the same way you are, they are speaking to you. Instead of you trying to sound like them, you would want to sound the opposite and try not to match their voice or tone of accent or even posture or gestures. This is a graphic or a presentation that would help us understand a little better. The first graph represents convergence as a two-step cause and effect relationship. The desire for approval and then you use convergence and you end up with the positive response. So now we see divergence in the second graph, which is when a group identity is salient, cause and effect sequence is different, uh, our need for distinctiveness, and then we use divergence, so then we end up with a negative response. The best example I could think of would be if you were to hang out with your friend, you would use different types of word, phrases, accents, pronunciation, and maybe even speak rapidly as if you were all of a sudden to get a call from your boss while you were having lunch with your friends, your voice would automatically change. You would probably talk with more proper words, you would probably also use different tone of voice than you were using with your friends and use more pauses and speak clearly. This is an example of desire for social approval which best describes communication accommodation theory. We tend to use convergence when we want to fit in, or not just that, but we also, also when we want to feel a social acceptance. This means that at the end of the conversation, you usually get a positive communication response because you accommodate to how they're speaking to you, you speak to them the same way back. When a group identity is salient, you tend to be divergent this means that you really don't want to communicate or have a relationship with this person or group of people. This leads to a negative communication response. This usually happens when we are forced to communicate with people we don't want to have a conversation with or we find ourselves in a situation where we don't want to communicate with that person or group of people. A perfect example of this could be maybe an ex-boyfriend. If he hurt you in the past and you're just trying to get over him or you're just naturally over him, but he keeps on trying to get your attention and you're fed up already, you would probably be divergent and not match the way he is speaking to you. Instead of you trying to sound like him, uh, you would probably be, do the opposite and try not to match his voice of tone or accent. Maybe your gestures would be weird and not the same as his. So at the end, hopefully he would get the message and stop bothering you. The main thing you do when you're trying to be divergent is that you insist on using a language or dialect with which uh, the other person will be uncomfortable with. Another example would be a group of people who don't have the same religious beliefs as you. At the end, you'd rather just avoid the conversation or not agree with them at all. This is an example we tend to be divergent with. At the end, we get a negative conversation response and hopefully never have to speak to them again or have the conversation with them again.